So the scripture said, this is the bread which cometh down from where? From heaven. Follow, follow. Are you with me? Follow me. I don't have time. Which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not what? Die. But they get man and died. bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give you is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. These are deep matters. So what God had to offer was a bread, a bread that is eternal in scope. When a man denies that bread, he has no participation. So you need to know whom Abraham is. As a matter of fact, God made sure that are you with me? Somehow, every member of the nation of Israel participated in this bread, this bread thing. And it is when you participate in this bread thing, as a matter of fact, there is a reason why God counted Abraham righteous. The scripture spoke about him. He said that Abraham believed and it was counted for him for righteousness. That is, are you with me? That was what Paul said until James came and gave us the other picture, the back end. To show us that there are certain things Abraham did. See, um, there is what Kenny Hagin calls the promissory note in the context of faith. How many of you have read any of his book? He spoke about the promissory note, showing us that there are men that participated on the, in the event of salvation before the consummation, which took place when Jesus came upon the face of the earth. Huh? Those men were able to relate with the things using the tokens that God presented to them by men that were physical. So, when that eternal king priest appeared to Abraham, he offered, actually offered to him eternal things. Eh? The cup, that wine is representing the blood. And the bread represents. He said, if you don't eat my flesh, they run away. Because it is in the flesh that there is life. And every, when Abraham participated in that thing, it is not counted for him for righteousness. So every man that participated in that lineage, they, their names, according as he said, was written in the book of Hebrews to show that this man decided to live um, in the ambience of a life yet to come. You don't know what is faith. Maybe one day we will teach faith. It is only faith that have the capacity to bring to you what is yet to come. Do you know why we can test of the power of the age to come? It is because of the faith in us. The faith in a man. And you need to know that it is in the same book of Hebrews. It is the book of Hebrews that testifies to us the real context of faith. Testifies to us about this priesthood that we speak about. It is in the book of Hebrews that life was explained. Eternal life was explained. It is in the book of Hebrews that we began to understand about life and power. It spoke there and he said that the Holy Ghost is the power of the age to come. I mean, the eternal realm, the heavenly realm, is powered totally by the Holy Ghost. That was why when the young man was making statement, he said, when a man receives the Holy Ghost, you can touch anything eternal. Because, are you with me? Because all of the eternal realm is powered by the Holy Ghost. So a man that has the Holy Ghost can touch anything that is eternal. You can only go as much as you want to go. Where you stopped, and the things you say, I can't do this one. It's you that decided to stop. Power of the age to come. Show me the Father. Teach me His ways. I want to know you. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Scepter of the living God. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Power of the age to come. Show me the Father. Teach me his ways. I wanna know you. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Shatter of the living God. You are the Holy Ghost. You 
see, you can say you know the Holy Spirit, the proof is how much you are making progress in your doing God. Come, I've, I've seen people that talk about the Holy Spirit and there is no progress in their job. You don't know him. He's a tour guide. What do you mean by tour guide? He's a tour guide to sonship. The scripture said, as many as led by the Spirit of God, they are what? They so you, your progress in sonship is as, as, as successful as you know the Holy Spirit. 